And uh, that's uh, as pretty as it's looked all week long. Peter Hall out on the weather deck. Is that a sign of where we're heading as we get closer to this weekend, Peter? So I think a large majority of our forecast as we look forward, I think you're going to enjoy because it's going to be warmer than average. You're going to enjoy temperatures that are getting towards summery levels. But there are a couple of hoops to jump through that are let's just say a little on the trickier side. So let's get right to it. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. First off, most spots today were dry as expected, only a hit or miss shower. I think for tomorrow, we should have a mix of sun and clouds with most spots dry through the entire day. Having said that, you'll see a few spots that have a chance before sunset. I think the 81 corridor and points east, the best chance of rain is gonna to be towards dinner time or especially Friday night. And that same system as it's approaching us kind of gets weakened right over our area. Literally, it kind of just stops right over central New York, much like what happened last weekend. And there's some discussion of whether or not that system still has enough oomph with extra clouds and showers, or is there more in the way of sun? Is there more in the way of rain? There's still some debate. I'm still going to forecast what I had yesterday, which is some rain in the morning, Clouds and sun, best chance of a pop-up afternoon shower for western areas. But that's a little bit shaky. We'll keep you posted if that has to change. And then Sunday likely dry for almost everywhere, if not everywhere. And we're getting even warmer with the best chance of getting to 80, which we might do tomorrow, Sunday and beyond. So we've kind of gone over the graduation weekend forecast. Here it is in actual black and white, I suppose you could say, a chance of rain in the morning and clouds and sun, slight chance of an afternoon shower with most spots dry on Sunday. Let's look at this on the future cast. There's still a tiny chance between now and 9 p.m. of a shower. Best chance is North Country. Otherwise, let's call it partly cloudy overnight. Tomorrow, it's even warmer than today. The difference is instead of a deep blue sky when the sun is out, it'll be a milky white sun through high clouds sort of thing. But just about everybody is dry through most of the day. I do say this because during the afternoon, let's keep an eye to the west because you can see some rain over Rochester at three. This will try to move eastbound, whether it's this organized or not. At around dinner time, an isolated shower possible near Rome, better chance of rain, western Finger Lakes westward, and then a chance of showers for the 81 corridor, best chance of rain at eight o'clock over the Finger Lakes. And eventually this is gonna to have to cross our area. So the best chance of showers over the entire area is Friday night. See how it's weakening? Can't completely rule out some early showers, then clouds and sun. Remember I said a pop-up shower is possible. Best chances are gonna be over here. We'll see if any pop up in the afternoon, but I think most of us should be dry. Right now I've got 74 for a high Saturday. To put some perspective on this, we look at many computer models. Models go from completely wet and lower 60s to completely dry and almost 80. That's how different Saturday could be. I'm going 74 for now. We'll keep you posted. Sun and clouds Sunday near 80. The only area that could have a shower in the afternoon would be the highest elevations. And even there, it's a beautiful day. And we are full summer in effect for Monday and Tuesday, low to mid 80s. If you're curious though, the record highs up for those days are in the 90s, so it can even get hotter, but way above the normal high of 70. Stanley Law Skywatch, looking at some sun and some of those billowing clouds trying to produce a brief shower. You're up to date, back inside. All right, Pete, thank you. Coming up on NBC3 News at five, a new group of